Hello everyone, this is Professor Mehir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn a very interesting topic called as Payback Period under Capital Budgeting and Investment Decision. In this video, we are going to basically learn what is Payback Period and thereafter we will be taking up two problem sums in order to clear all the doubts related to Payback Period calculation. So let us see what exactly is payback period. Now payback period method is defined as the number of years required to recover the original cost invested in a project. It means whatever investment you are going to make after how many years will you be able to recover that cost. Now to understand that, okay, we have taken one small example. Let's say there is an investment project available at the cost of rupees 5 lakhs. The moment you will invest in that particular investment project, it will give you an annual cash inflow of rupees 1 lakh per annum. It means after investing 5 lakhs in a project, every year you will be able to recover 1 lakh per annum. So in this way, if we are asked to calculate the payback period, then we will calculate in a simple manner that will be 5 lakhs divided by the cash inflow per annum. So it will be 5 lakhs divided by 1 lakh. It means you will take approximately 5 years to recover your cost. This is a basic example of payback period method. Okay, so if you have made an investment of 5 lakhs, every year you are going to earn 1 lakh, so it will take 5 years to recover your cost. This is known as payback period. Now, payback period method has two conditions in which you can solve the sum. Number one, when cash inflow is constant every year, then payback period is equal to cash outflow divided by cash inflow per annum. And second, when cash inflow are not constant every year, then payback period is equal to completed years plus required inflow divided by inflow of the next year. So there are two methods in which you can solve the sum depending upon the cash inflow given in the question. So now we will take a one sum from each method and try to understand how to calculate payback period when cash inflow is constant and when cash inflow is not constant. So let us see one by one how we need to solve payback period problem sums. Okay, let us see problem number one, when cash inflow is constant every year. The question is in front of you all, calculate payback period from the following details. Cash outflow, that is the investment value is 20 lakhs. Number of years have been given to you as five years. The cash inflow if you make that particular investment are 4 lakhs per annum, if you can see carefully, every year it will generate rupees 4 lakhs. Now, if you look carefully, the value of cash inflow is constant every year. Okay, so the rule states that if the cash inflow annually is constant, then the payback period will be calculated with the help of the following formula that is payback period is equal to cash outflow divided by cash inflow per annum now in this sum okay the cash outflow given is 20 lakhs and cash inflow per annum is rupees 4 lakhs so your payback period will be calculated as 20 lakhs divided by 4 lakhs Okay, so 20 divided by 4 will give you an answer of 5 years. 
so the payback period for this particular problem sum was 5 years it means that if you are making an investment of 20 lakhs it will take you 5 years to recover the cost so this is how we need to solve the sum when the cash inflow remains constant every year always remember whenever the cash inflow is constant the problem sum becomes very simple however if the cash inflow is not constant every year then we have to do some calculations so now let us see problem number 2 how to solve a sum when cash inflow are not constant every year the question is in front of you all calculate the payback period from the following details cash outflow is 1 lakh that is nothing but the investment value again the number of years are given as 5 and the cash inflow representing every year are given as 20000 30000 40000 50000 and 30000 so if you look at this carefully the cash inflow for each and every year are different they are not constant so whenever the cash inflow are not constant for every year then we'll have to do some calculation So now let us see how we need to solve this particular sum. First, you will have to create a new table. The table will look something like this. First column will be years. Second will be cash flow or cash inflow, and third cumulative cash flow. Now that is a very important column that is required. Under year, we'll note down the five numbers which I have given to us. So that is five years. under cash flow we'll note down 20000 30000 40000 50000 and 30000 now we need to find the cumulative cash flow now always remember for cumulative the first value remains as it is so 20000 will remain as 20000 now we need to add the next year to the previous year and get the cumulative that is also nothing but yeah, you know in simple term they call as zigzag adding so 20000 Plus thirty thousand, it will become fifty thousand. Fifty plus forty is ninety thousand. Ninety plus fifty is one lakh forty thousand, and one lakh forty plus thirty is one lakh seventy thousand. So our total cumulative cash flow is one lakh seventy thousand. Now, in order to find the payback period, when the cash inflow is not constant. okay the formula is little different so we'll first note down the formula the formula states that payback period is equal to completed years plus required inflow divided by inflow of next year okay now let us see how to calculate this payback period the cash outflow in the sum is rupees 1 lakh so now we have to look into the cumulative cash flow column and let us find in which year do we recover 1 lakh rupees now we can see that in year number 4 okay we recover 1 lakh rupees but the value is going beyond 1 lakh the question is that we need to find out when we are able to recover rupees 1 lakh but in the fourth year the value is going beyond 1 lakh so the rule states whenever the value goes beyond what is required we have to take one year before that so we will take one year before that so that will be 3 years so my completed years will be 3 but in the third year i was able to recover 90000 only so how much amount do i still require in order to complete the outflow value that is nothing but 1 lakh minus 90000 which is 10000 so my required inflow is 10000 upon inflow of the next year the next year ka inflow is nothing but 50000 so completed years 3 years required inflow will be 1 lakh minus 90000 which is 10000 and inflow of the next year which is 50000 so using these three values we'll substitute in the formula so it will be 3 years which are completed plus 10000 divided by 
10,000 divided by 50,000 will give you 0 0.2. So my final answer, that is my final payback period will be 3.2 years. So I will take 3 years, 2 months to recover the cash outflow of rupees 1 lakh. Only after that, the company will be able to generate profit. So in this way, we have to solve a problem sum where the cash inflow are not constant every year. So with this, we were able to solve two problem sum. One, where the cash inflow was constant every year. And second, where the cash inflow was not constant every year. I hope everyone understood how to calculate payback period method sums based on these two practical examples. So with this, the topic based on payback period comes to an end. Thank you.